left to roast the greatest quarterback of all time. It's game time. Let's go. All right. All right. Kim was terrified to be here tonight. An ex-athlete, high cheekbones, silky hair. You remind me too much of my stepdad now. Kim Kardashian's night at the The Roast of Tom Brady probably didn't go the way she had planned it to go. And Sunday, May 5, the star of Keeping Up with the Kardashians was invited to roast Brady as a rumored romantic interest and a close friend. However, it didn't take long for the show to morph into the roast of Kim Kardashian when the audience turned on her. It came to the point where Netflix had to edit out the part where the audience tried to boo her out of the stage to make it bearable for the viewers at home. If you are a Netflix subscriber and click on the event, you will get a disclaimer that says the live roast was edited from a previous live stream. So, what exactly happened that night? And what part of the shows were edited out? You probably want to know the answers to these questions. So, here's how it went. Kim took the stage to deliver a champagne toast to Brady and roast all the other stars along with him on the way. She started her session by going after the host of the show, Kevin Hart. However, before even finishing the first joke, she was immediately cut off by the sounds of a booing crowd. Kim was visibly taken aback by the reaction and said, all right, all right, all right, instead of continuing the joke. Kevin Hart, who was supposed to be roasted, chimed in saying, whoa, whoa, whoa. To tackle the tsunami of boos from an infuriated crowd, it was so bad that this entire part was edited out by Netflix. But the billionaire queen of the beauty industry didn't let any of that fumble her flow. Eventually, the crowd calmed down a bit, and Kardashian finished her joke came at Kevin. People make fun of your height, but what they don't know is you're also pretty, which makes you the smallest black dick I've ever seen. She then turned towards Brady addressing their dating rumors for the first time. I know there were some rumors that we were, and I'd never say if we did or not. I'd just release a tape. It was a self-deprecating humor referring to her infamous sex date with Ray J. Clearly, the crowd wasn't expecting Kim to come out with such bold statements. The directness and confidence she showed with her jokes were eventually winning over the audience. Little did they know it was only about to get amped up from there. I do know it would never work out. An ex-athlete, high cheekbones, silky hair. You remind me too much of my stepdad now. It was a jab at Tom Brady comparing him to Caitlyn Jenner. But she didn't just stop there, continuing her quips with about Caitlyn saying, she's one of the best athletes in the world. You proved you could do anything in this next chapter in your life. You can become a commentator, a far-right Republican, or even a strong, confident woman. At this point, the crowd was coming in tune with her, but she was saving her magnum opus for the very last saying, honestly, it's hard for me to watch people roast you. But I think enough of my family members have helped defend former football players. It was aimed towards Tom Brady, but a clear jab at her family that defended O.J. Simpson in his infamous case. Her roast session ended with mostly a positive crowd reaction with a few boos here and there, which, in our opinion, was definitely a thousand times better than it began. So viewers, what do you think? Did she deserve such a negative reaction from the crowd? Did she make the best out of her situation? Let us know in the comments and make sure to subscribe.